What up, guys? The Bench Buddies are back with my college football bowl game predictions for December 16th to the 26th. I'll be breaking down all those games and then come back for the next video to for all the rest of the bowl games from the 27th to New Year's Day. But before we get into it, subscribe to the channel to be entered into the giveaway. First, we have to look at Ty and I's championship week picks. And you know, the only game we picked different was the Troy App State game. I took App State and they did not win this one. But other than that, a pretty rough week for us. The first bowl game is going to be the Myrtle Beach Bowl, Georgia Southern, Ohio. Georgia Southern here is favored over a 9-3 and three Ohio team, but we're both going to go with Ohio. They've had a pretty solid year. And in the MAC, you know, they, a lot of these teams have beaten up on each other this year, but Ohio was one of those top teams. After that game, you, at 215, you get Jacksonville State and Louisiana. Jacksonville State's a good story. They're just a very new FBS team. They've been playing pretty well since they've joined. Then you got Louisiana, Raging Cajuns, staying home, pretty much a home game for them here. And Jacksonville State doesn't have to travel that far. But I think Jacksonville State here technically goes on the road here and wins a bowl game. Then at 330, you have a very good game here. Miami of Ohio, who's 11-2 and two, versus App State, 8-5. and five. And I'm going with Miami of Ohio here. I think that, you know, 11-2 and two is no joke. You got to win all your games. And if they can figure out how to win games, they're going to. I know that they're dogs or underdogs here by 6.5. But I think Miami's going to win outright where Ty has App State winning this one. Then at 545 in the New Mexico Bowl, you have New Mexico State and Fresno State. And just because New Mexico State is playing in the New Mexico Bowl, I'm going with New Mexico State here. Ty is going the other way, and he's going with Fresno State. And at 730, probably the better game of the day of all these games, UCLA, Boise State. And if UCLA had Dante Moore, I'd probably take UCLA here, but they don't. And Ty and I are both going with Boise State here. It's a road game for these Broncos as they're going into L.A. to face UCLA at, pretty much at home. But Boise State has been historically good in bowl games, and I think they add another win. Then the last bowl game on Saturday, the 16th, Cal, Texas Tech, Independence Bowl. Texas Tech is favored by 3.5, but I think this is probably a coin flip, and Ty and I are both going with Texas Tech here. Texas Tech playing in the Big 12. I think they're going to get the beneficiary of this one, put up a lot of points and beat Cal in the fourth quarter. Moving to Monday, there's only one game in the famous Toastery Bowl. It's a new bowl. And you get Western Kentucky, Old Dominion. Both Ty and I are going with the upset in Western Kentucky. Another team that's been very good these last few years and fallen back down to earth after Bailey Zappi has left. But they're still finding ways to win and get to bowl games, and I think they win a bowl game. Tuesday at 9 in the Frisco Bowl, you have UTSA versus Marshall. And that 12-point spread is no joke. UTSA has been very good this year where Marshall limped into a bowl game. And that's why Ty and I are both going with UTSA. Thursday at 8, you have USF and Syracuse playing in the Boca Raton Bowl in Florida. And Syracuse is coming a long way to play in this game, but it's a nice warm weather game for them where USF is used to this weather. I'm going with the better conference pick here in Syracuse. Same with Ty. USF, you know, they've been historically bad these last few years, so it's good to see them back in contention and in a bowl game. Friday, battle of the six and sixes again in the Gasparilla Bowl, and this is another one of those coin flip games. I like UCF just because they have played some good teams and actually have upset or came close to upsetting some teams where, same with Georgia Tech, they kept it close with Georgia this year but couldn't pull off an upset. I think UCF is the better coach team in this one, and they'll win that. Then Saturday, the 23rd, is when you have more bowl games and you have Arkansas State, Northern Illinois. I'm going with the Huskies of Northern Illinois and Ty's going with the Arkansas State Red Wolves. I'm taking all the MAC teams this year. You know, it's MAC action or nothing for me. And I really think Northern Illinois is going get, to get it this done. They've had a good season. Six and six isn't anything, you know, great. But the Huskies have been floating around and played some teams really well this year. Also at 12, you have Troy and Duke, and more than likely this is going to be the game that a lot of people are watching. I know that Duke doesn't have Riley Leonard after he's already transferred to Notre Dame, but Troy has had a great year going 11-2, and winning their conference, and I just think Troy is going to pull away late in this one, get to 12-2, and 
under a very successful year. And at 3.30, you want to talk about a successful year. James Madison, their first year in FBS, going 11-1. and one. And who do they get? They get Air Force in the Armed Forces Bowl. And it's going to be a tough battle for James Madison here. But I do think they get the win in their first ever bowl game. Also at 3.30, you have Georgia State, Utah State. This is probably the biggest coin flip of the day. As you can see, Utah State's only favored by one point. And I'm going with the home well, home team, the favorite team in Utah State. They're closer to Idaho than Georgia. And I think the weather will matter in this one because it could be crappy weather. If it is crappy weather, that favors Utah State. At seven, one of the biggest spreads in the bowl games this year, South Alabama versus Eastern Michigan. And South Alabama, favored by 15. I feel like you can't pick against that. So you got to go with South Alabama. But, you know, it is a shout out to Eastern Michigan where it's good to see them competitive again. And at 730, which a lot of people should be watching this game here, you have Utah Northwestern. And man, this is going to be a great game. Utah has had an underwhelming season to say the least, but Northwestern, a very good year. And Northwestern will have a say in who wins this one. I think it's going to come down to the edge. I like the Northwestern spread here of six and a half but Utah is ultimately going to win this game. And then at 10.30 in the Hawaii Bowl, you have Coastal Carolina and San Jose State. San Jose State, shorter flight to Hawaii than Coastal Carolina, so they're literally flying all the way across the country to get to this bowl game. San Jose State favored by 10, and it's kind of tough to bet, to bet against a team that's favored by 10 in a bowl game. Then after Christmas, the day after, you have Bowling Green, Minnesota, and Detroit in the Quick Lane Bowl. Close game for both of these teams. Quick flight. And I'm going with the Big Ten team here. There's, I know I said I was taking all the MAC teams, but hear me out. In these bowl games where you have the 5-7 and seven team, there's at least one that wins every year. And it feels like Minnesota matches up well with Bowling Green. So I'm going with the Golden Gophers. Then in the first responders bowl, you have Texas State, Rice. And I'm going with the upset pick in Rice here. They've been pretty solid the last few years. 6-6, six and 7-5, six, and five, making bowl games, but have not won. And I think this is the year they changed that. Then the last game that I'll talk about for you, Kansas UNLV in the guaranteed rate bowl. This game will be played in the Diamondback Stadium. And it's pretty close for UNLV. But Kansas, I think it's a good getaway for them. And they still have a lot to prove here. You know, with Daniels coming back next year, Bean is going to get the start here. And I think Kansas is going to coast to a easy win. But that's going to be it for the picks this week. Check back after Christmas for the new videos as we pick all the games, the big games, the big New Year's Six games, and the college football playoff. But until the next time, the Bench Buddies are out.